Hey guys, you're here with myself, Mike Perry, Lucky Live TV at Dex Club. We're sitting up on the terrace for the favorite party of the summer, South City. And we're at the final night of the series for the summer. Yeah. Sitting here with myself and Dave Mins, Hi. James Edwards. Hi guys, you're right. Hey guys, not quite as pleasant a settings as we had for the last interview, which was Bora Bora Beach. Oh, yeah. But we are on a beautiful terrace out in the middle of London and having a good time for South City. Most How definitely. you guys going? You good? Yeah, good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, cheers. Cool. It's a great time. Good stuff. Yeah. Now guys, listen, this is the last of the South City for this summer. Mm -hmm. um, how's the season gone for you guys? It's gone brilliantly. Uh, this is our second year at South City on the Dex Terrace. Uh, the whole concept's just again, it's about bringing the whole of London together. Everyone that does out, does parties or works in the dance music industry, just bring it together. We bring, have a free party and just everyone meets up once a month, have a chat, meet the people that are doing the same thing yeah. as you in London and everyone helps each other out. And it's, it's been really good. Cool, really nice good. one. It's a really good place for me to come. I love it because it's a business card party. Business cards get flown all over. CD mixes get given out. Flyers get passed out. Cards. And not pushed on. You're just like, you meet the best contacts. All the people you're going to work with, all the people that you have worked with. And yeah. like you say, it's the Ibiza workers party in so London. It's a fabulous You can see it happening as you walk around the club as well. And on the terrace, you can actually look around and see people that are networking and stuff. You know, that yeah. wouldn't actually get to meet each other because they are one does one Saturday, one place, and one does one Saturday, another place. So yeah. it's getting them together in a unique way. Uh, you know, I, I don't see that often going on, yeah. you know. Cool, fantastic guys. So tell me, what's special about this Saturday, Sunday night? Well, it's the last one for us. Yep. So, so, you yeah, know. 2010 closing party. Mm. We've worked, had, a, had, a, we've had a great summer and it's just, we've, we've come to an end of it now. I mean, we, uh, we just do four parties in the year because it's just now, obviously with the outdoor setting, we don't have the blessings of sunshine all year round <laughs> in London. But, you know, it's, it's kind of special to be just do four parties a year and it's something that people look forward to. And, uh, and yeah, I think it keeps like that kind of special vibe, you know? Fantastic. Yeah. Good stuff, mate. So tell us a little bit about the lineup tonight, because you've had some exciting stuff on the go, including Lucky Live DJs first yes. and Opsy coming on at 11 to 12. Set. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you very much, yeah. mate. Cheers. Cool. Tell us who else is on the lineup tonight. Well, we've had Hat Club. They did really, really well. Yeah, they're fantastic. Hat was the first time the Hat Club have joined us, actually, and we've wanted to get them involved for a while, because obviously they've got a great brand. We've had data transmission down. Uh, they obviously do a lot to help the online networking from all the brands, so they're really influential guys. Uh, we have Concrete Promo down, one of the biggest digital dance music promoters in, in, the, in Europe, I think. Uh, Pieces of Eight Records, uh, Twisted Audio. Electronic just, Sessions. Like, electronic Sessions, yeah. We just give a really cool lineup again. All the guys that do parties in London, mm. and you know, we just got them together, and yeah. So We've it's even had cool. a bit of a software demo as well with Next Beat, a brand new, you know, DJ tool that's been demoed here today as well. This is crazy. So. You know what's the one thing I think when I hear you guys say that? How can this be free? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. Because we all love it, and that's why. Yeah, exactly, yeah. mate. We all get something out of it, not just us, but the promoters, the clubbers. You know, everyone gets something out of coming yeah. here on a Sunday Not afternoon. Sure. Almost quite cheesy, but made by the clubbers for the clubbers. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, uh, you know, I was going to keep that one secret, Mike. <laughs> Use that one next year, you know. <laughs> All right, we'll cut that out. Don't worry. Yeah, no, I'm joking. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, listen, guys, what's going to happen? Um, I wanted to ask you, why do you end in August when yeah. I believe there's still another month of summer? What well, happens in September? the reason is, as James said, it's about keeping it special and unique. And also, last year and, in, and the year before, I've always worked for Best of All Radio doing interviews Ooh. and stuff, which falls on the second week of September. So unfortunately, last year when I wasn't here, it wasn't the same vibe, it wasn't a special. James was on his own, it actually it was a video interview that time, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah, we did the interview last time. It, was just a, it sort of felt like one too many. I think we keep, obviously September's a dodgy one. There was plenty, there's lots of other events around that not time. Not just festival. And you know, also yeah. the weather's not as reliable. I'd be for closing parties. Yeah, there's still plenty on, I think. So we just, we condensed it this year, before four parties. Just four. And, yeah. you know, it keeps people wanting more. People are coming back going, oh, you know, why is it finishing? Mm. But, True. you know... We'll be back next the year. anticipation's there for 2011, yeah. you know. That's what you want. So yeah. what can we expect from you guys next year? Uh, well, we're definitely going to carry on with the same kind of thing. We would like to expand it to more different musics as well, if you we yep. can. But it's, it's take as it comes, you can't rush anything. But my, my goal for South City would be to involve much more of the different genres in the music industry. So, you know, the dubstep people, the breakbeat people, everyone's getting something out of it. You know, but that, that's a long way off yet. Awesome. Now, nice one, guys. Well, we asked you these questions in Ibiza, but clearly they will have changed since then. So, um, what did you guys have for breakfast this morning? Oh, mate. Uh, eggs and bacon in a, bit of a, in a bit of a roll with some ketchup and a, uh, and a coffee. Oh, no. <laughs> I think that was the same answer, and I've eaten them, mate. <laughs> you're you're going to get a totally different one from me. All right, what do you have? Pizza and chicken wings. Oh! 
<laughs> and about three o'clock this afternoon when I woke up. Yeah, that's rude. I was up till 10 a.m. doing the guest list to this one. Yeah, we had 900, 900 emails this time. 900. Minutes. Yeah, and it, it literally I'd done it all month and I had about four or five pages worth. And come home from DJ last, yeah, last night. And, and, yeah. Yeah, and I sat through it all this morning, so yeah, that's why I had pizza. (laughs) (laughs) Nothing wrong, mate. Past the breakfast, like, gone. (laughs) No worries, mate. And lastly, guys, let's see if it's changed since Ibiza. What's the luckiest thing that's ever happened to you, Dave? Uh, Luckiest thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, God, I'm going to let you take that question. Okay, luckiest thing that's ever happened to me. How about we do this? What's the luckiest thing that's happened to you since Ibiza? The luckiest thing that's happened to me since Ibiza? It's probably not that interesting, to be honest, man. Um... I had a, um, I had a, uh, a bit of a sleep in, and uh, and I couldn't get out for work. Well, I wouldn't. My alarm didn't go off, but my mate called me, and woke me up. So I got into work, which meant I didn't get in trouble. But it was lucky that day because I ended up having a surprise meeting with someone that I wasn't going to have, and ended up getting some really good stuff out of it. Awesome. So awesome. I thanked my mate in the morning. He just called text me. Do you want to play football today, mate? I was like, mate, I'm asleep. But actually, thank you because my alarm was. <laughs> Funny. Nah, son, Dave. Uh, the luckiest thing that's happened to me since I've been is still being here, I think. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to wrap my brains, but honestly, the, it's been that much of a hard life, you know, like recently, just work, 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 work. In fact, I'm still here and I'm, I'm doing a great job and enjoying myself. Uh, that's lucky for me. Luck, luck for me, honestly. Awesome. Keep on going, doing what you're doing, you know. Nice one, uh, guys. Yes, yes, thank you. Fantastic. Well, listen, thank you once again for having mm. Lucky Love TV at the closing party mm. of South City yeah. to celebrate my birthday as well, oh, having yeah, my mate. boys on board. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and guys, really looking forward to what you bring us next year. Thank you, cheers. Uh, we will be back out for the Summer of London with Star City again. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you to everyone cheers. that's got involved. Yeah, big up.